welcome or welcome back to my channel. What's up if you're new? Hey, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. <laughs> Today I wanna show you guys my super quick, super easy 10 minute makeup look. I do have acne prone skin, oily skin, and right now my skin has some surface dryness because I'm treating it with some tretinoin. It's also fall here in New York. The wind is kind of like drying out my skin a little bit. So that is the current state of my skin. And most of these are actually drugstore products. The first step of makeup is always and always will be skincare. But I wanna talk about how important it is to find a really good moisturizer. I am using this I unique black snail restore cream. This is snail secretion filtrate, so 58% snail secretion filtrate and 9.8% centella asiatica leaf water. So those are both very hydrating and moisturizing. This moisturizer is perfect for my skin right now because it's really dry on the surface and do you see that? It gives my skin just enough protection for the day. What's important about moisturizing your skin before you do your makeup, especially if you have oily skin, your skin naturally produces oil to try and hydrate yourself. If your skin is dehydrated, your skin will produce more oil. It's just rule of thumb. This also helps diminish the look of surface dryness on my skin, especially when I apply makeup. I am gonna be using a powder foundation today, so sometimes when I work with a powder foundation, and I don't prep my skin well enough, my, my surface dryness, you could see it from a mile away. I recently picked up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. I used to use the liquid version of this and transitioning from the liquid to the powder is the best decision I have ever made. The liquid can actually feel a little bit heavy, especially if you want it to be full coverage. I know for those who have acne, acne prone skin, we have a lot of like blemishes sometimes, but this is super light. It is a powder form, so it's so much lighter and you can achieve a full coverage without it feeling like you're actually wearing any foundation. This is my skin with the foundation on. I would say this gives like a nice medium to full coverage depending on how much you put. The goal is to really just do my makeup super quick with the least amount of products and I feel like I'm able to accomplish that with this foundation. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation right here but I'm just gonna show you guys how well this can cover. I really like to use flat top brushes with this. I get the most coverage out of that. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk flat top foundation brush. I really just like this foundation so much. So sometimes the huge brush that I was using doesn't really get in like the corners of my eyes where sometimes it needs a little concealing. So I'm just gonna go back in with my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. I'm gonna take the smaller side and just go in my eye, like the corner of my eyes right here. I'm gonna take this NARS contour in the color Laguna. I actually received this on my birthday and I love it. This tiny little thing has lasted me so long. I've been using it since July. And I'm using the e.l.f. highlighting brush. So I just messily do my nose contour with whatever's left on my brush by like squishing the top of the brush and just throwing it on my nose like that. After contour, I just throw on some blush. <sighs> Whatever blush I have, really. So right now, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color Plum. I loaded up on this highlighter brush that I was just using for contour. I place this usually like right above where I put my contour, even touching it sometimes. This blush is really light, so I usually just kind of pack it on. And as you can tell, I'm using a lot of powder products. Everything powder just glides on on top really well, but nothing ends up feeling too heavy. I usually don't feel like I'm even wearing any makeup. I'm gonna quickly go back to that NARS bronzer that we use, load up my Morphe M441 brush. This is a really big fluffy brush that I just sweep across my eyelids so it evens out the rest of my makeup. Like here you see there's like depth here and it blends really well here. But on my eyelids here, it just looks really bare and it doesn't really blend with the rest of my makeup. Just adding this little bit of detail really, really helps, I think. See, it's not a huge difference. I'm gonna take the Kaja Beauty Beauty Bento 
glow guava this is in the number seven this is so cute and versatile like it comes with all three of these colors first we have a super pretty dusty rose and then we have this like plum almost like purpley plum metallic color and then i'm not going to be using this one today but this is like a super pretty dark mauve color i'm going to take the top color which is that really light dusty rose color i'm going to place it like on my crease area and it's actually pretty pigmented like it shows color really quickly without having to apply too many layers I'm gonna take a smaller brush, the Morphe M456 brush. I'll be taking the same dusty rose color, just brushing that on the bottom of my eyes. And then I'm gonna be taking that same brush, going into the metallic color. It's just a nice little flush of sparkle. I'm gonna grab a highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown. I've been using this for so long. This is definitely a go-to for me, but I like to just put that in the inner corner of my eyes. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara, and I have been using this for a little bit now. It's drying out a little bit though. She's a little clumpy right now, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably like a three month old mascara, which is probably, I should probably get rid of it. I'm gonna be using the Merit Tinted Lip Oil in Marrakesh. I love this. I love this because it's it's so simple. It's just a simple tinted lip oil. It has a lot of pigment. Yay! Last but not least, I just brush my brows up. Just with like a random spoolie. It feels like a gross spoolie. Everything usually takes me 10 minutes because Typically, I'm not explaining my makeup to somebody and I'm so super fast with everything And I wanted to just kind of break it down and show you guys what I usually do and what I'm currently using for my oily acne prone skin and That is usually it like that is basically my everyday makeup I honestly feel like I'm not wearing any makeup I hate that feeling where your makeup is so heavy because it's so full coverage if you're using liquids that you can't even touch your face but this like i can literally like put my hand on my face and i feel nothing this i felt like was just a three in one for me it's a concealer it's a foundation it's also a setting powder i really just stopped using those two products like concealer and a setting powder ever since i started using this this is my go-to every single day makeup because it's just so easy to do i'm gonna have everything that i use today in the description box below that is it for today's video and i hope to see you in the next one bye